and police are looking for a suspect who robbed two local businesses with a pretty unusual weapon. The so-called weapon? A potato. Not a gun. And not in one business, but in two in Providence. Both held up. Sierra Putman is live in the newsroom with reaction from one of the victims. Sierra? Well, Allison, it took a fake $20 bill and a bat to get this robber out of two Providence businesses. And the owner of one of those companies tells me this was no laughing matter. He said, I need the money, money. So I said, take it easy. Take it easy. I give it to money. Don't worry. Anna Jung doesn't want to show her face on camera, but tells NBC 10 she was robbed at her family's dry cleaning business by a man wielding a potato. He said, uh, don't call 911. Because, okay, take it easy. The only thing in the register was a counterfeit $20 bill. The man wasn't happy with the amount, but eventually left, taking the potato with him. I heard it on the news, and I said it was ridiculous, man. That's it. The Jungs have owned their business for 26 years and fear the robbery will scare customers away. My customer getting nervous, you know, it's, they don't want to come to, you know, it's a dangerous place, so we worry about that. A potato. It's usually used to make French fries or mashed potatoes, so a few people chuckled when I first told them it was used in a robbery. But then they thought about how off-balance the robber had to be to think this was a good idea. They're just glad he didn't use a gun. Providence police report this wasn't the suspect's first target, but the second. 30 minutes before, workers at this shell filling station on Branch Avenue report he was trying to hold them up. They scared him away with a bat, but there was a struggle before the bandit fled. Witnesses described the suspect as a fair-skinned man about 5 feet 7 inches tall. At the time of the robberies, he was wearing a black mask and a dark sweatshirt and t-shirt underneath. Local business owners hope he's caught soon. A lot of customers said, uh, don't worry about it, but uh, I worry about it. And even though this suspect didn't get away with anything of value, Providence police are still looking for him. They are reviewing some surveillance video. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.